Do you recognize the man in these photos? Of course you do. That's Volodymyr Zelensky, the president of Ukraine. He's supposed to be fighting a war with Russia. Except he is posing for a fashion magazine. Zelensky is, is in front of the cameras. That's where he has been since the war began. One day he's posing with troops. The next day with people on the streets. And now he's posing for a fashion magazine. The president is the cover story of the Vogue. What's so fashionable about war? Where is the need to pose in front of sandbags and devastation? If this is an attempt to draw attention to the war, it's pointless because the world already knows about the war. The whole world today is facing the brunt of this war. May not be in the form of raining missiles, but definitely in the form of rising meal prices. Also, if the idea is to spread awareness, why not capture the faces that really depict this war? Like this baby who was born on a subway, or this boy who was left motherless. And I'm not pitting someone's grief against another. I'm not weighing grief. I'm only saying that these photos tell the real story of Ukraine, not the first lady in designer clothes. So what explains her Vogue feature? Let me read out a portion of the cover story for you. This is what it says. In our two conversations in Kiev, Zelenska was forthright, dignified, elegant, a subtle promoter of Ukrainian designers. On one day, she wore an ecru silk blouse with a black velvet bow tied around the neck and a black mid-calf skirt. Her ash blonde hair swept up in a loose bun. The next day, it was wide leg jeans, chunky white sneakers with yellow and blue detailing, a nod to the Ukrainian flag and a fundraising project by the brand. I couldn't help but think the shirt had the same rusty hue as the burned out Russian tanks that I saw lining roads in Irpin and Bucha, suburbs of Kiev where Ukraine pushed back the Russians. Do you find this absurd? You should, because it is. It's absurd that the First Lady of Ukraine is posing against staged war scenes with perfect hair and makeup. It's absurd that the president, who's supposed to be leading the country out of this war, is busy posing too. There's also a BTS, by the way, behind the scenes. Take a look at all the preparations that went into this photo shoot. Remember, all of this is happening in a country that has been at war for the past five months. The cover story is called Portrait of Bravery. It's neither satire nor surprising. Ask yourself this question. What has Zelensky really done since this war began except being on camera? He's been the face of a global PR campaign backed by the West. He's worn olive green t-shirts every day to depict himself as a war hero. He's appear appeared on television every day, given interviews to media networks worldwide to possibly anyone and everyone who's asked for one. He has addressed every possible forum. The US Congress, the EU Parliament, the United Nations, the World Economic Forum. He's not even spared the Cannes opening ceremony. You know the film festival? He was there too. And at one point, it seemed like Zelensky was using his screen presence to make a case for Ukraine. He is a former comedian. You know that. He's also done a bit of acting. He knows his camera, his angles. So it appeared as though Zelensky was using his strength to Ukraine's advantage, helping Ukraine win the PR war against Russia. But to what end? Videos do not win wars. And Ukraine is certainly not winning this one. What does Zelensky have to show for all his TV appearances, for all the interviews that he's done? Forget a NATO membership. Ukraine does not even have an entry pass to the European Union. More than 14,000 Ukrainians have been killed. The war has entered its 155th day. Russia has made huge military gains. Ukraine has lost cities and towns. And the president, in between his multiple photo shoots, is blaming his top officials for the setbacks. He's sacking them. He's accusing them of treason, of not doing enough. But what is he, as the president of Ukraine, doing? Zelensky and Zelenska are posing for Vogue, sharing their love story, building their personal brand. This is not the face of bravery or a service to Ukraine. This is an insult to those who are on the front line, those who are fighting the war, braving Russian bullets, this is a deplorable attempt to romanticize war. 
You all heard of Nero fiddling while Rome burned. The Ukrainian president is becoming the modern day Nero, posing for cameras as his country suffers. Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.